brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Fresh off talks with world leaders and China's president promoting American values and standing up for international order, U.S. President Joe Biden on the tarmac on Anderson Air Force Base Wednesday night to refuel Air Force One following the G20 meetings in Indonesia. The commander-in-chief meeting with civilians and military members, including Staff Sergeant Lamont Beeman. We are the individuals that put things together that make sure uh, everything runs smoothly upon his arrival and even when he's here. We uh, make sure we accommodate him the best that we possibly can. The Alabama native is with the 36 Wings Protocol Office. While there for work, he never imagined what would happen next. He kind of pointed me out of the crowd and asked me how often I work out and <laughs> gave me compliments on, uh, you know, my arm size. So that was uh, a, a good uh, icebreaker in a sense. And uh Got to get a photo with him, and, you know, we were both flexing in the photo, so it was pretty awesome. A presidential flex and this photo op. I didn't think that was going to actually happen, um, but it was an amazing experience. Governor Lou Leon Guerrero and First Gentleman Jeffrey Cook also greeting Biden. Though the meeting was less than a minute, the Magahaga was excited to share her experience with others during a workshop held today in Tumon. Mr. President. For your good talks with President Xi, because the people of Guam really want to remain peaceful and harmonious and secure, and he said the talks were really good. So, uh, just wanted to say uh, that we have a very good, hardworking president who's very concerned about peace and security in this part of the world. Leon Guerrero adding Vice President Kamala Harris is set to travel to Thailand and the Philippines soon to affirm the nation's commitment to the Indo-Pacific. The president's brief trip here, no doubt, inspiring for those he met with. By stopping by, you know, Guam and getting out and being able to meet and greet, you know, the other um, the service members of, third, of uh, Anderson, not only Anderson, Guam in general, because we had other services there as well. Um, you know, that meant a lot to a lot of people to be able to, you know, just get a photo of him or shake his hand and just have like, you know, that two second talk. So, yeah, I know uh, I speak for a lot of other people that we really appreciate that.